Welcome once again to Vlog Vlog. I am your host. Today, I'm going to reflect on the past year for myself personally and for this channel, what I've learned and what I hope to accomplish in the next year. 2022 was a pretty good year for me, so let's do it again in 2023. But first, let's go back to the beginning. I decided to start the vlog vlog during the COVID lockdowns as a way for me to distract myself from what was going on in the world. It took me a while to learn how videos were made and how to do it myself. I didn't have a good microphone, so I just used an old one that I had just lying around the house. And some of the sound quality in my early videos were pretty rough. The original idea was to call it something like video game review, but I decided to go with the vlog vlog because it is a nonsense, wor nonsense word that would allow me to make whatever I felt like at the time. In addition to starting my own channel, the lockdowns also got me to put myself out there more as a person. Once the lockdowns ended, I started to date again, and in the last year I got engaged. I honestly never expect to get married. This past year, I also had corrective eye surgery, purchased an electronic automobile, and fell down some stairs. I'm still recovering from the eye surgery, and the ankle is getting better. I also lost both of my house cats in a matter of months. Sora was a few weeks shy of his 18th birthday, which is pretty good for a giant cat. My other cat, Master Etna, was 15 years old. I'm not quite ready to have a new house cat, but I did rehome a couple of feral cats that now hang around my barn. Their names are Lord Megatron, the Mighty Starscream, and RC. They don't really like me, but they've stuck around, so I guess that's a win. As far as YouTube, the YouTube thing goes, I started 2022 with 51 subscribers, and I've gained 67 subscribers. So, it's more than doubled in the past year. I'm now at 118 subscribers, and thank you for that. I don't really know what that all means, but I think it's neat that 118 people decided that they wanted to hear an old guy complain about stuff on the internet. In the next year, I hope that we can hit 200. I'm not sure if that's overly ambitious, but I think it's obtainable. I know it's still a long way from monetization, but I don't really care if I, that really ever happens. For me, this is just an expensive hobby that's taught me new things about my Macintosh, and it's helped me feel more comfortable with my voice. While other old guys spend money on golf clubs, I spend my money on Power Macs, microphones, and SSDs. Neither one of us necessarily know what we're doing, but it's fun. One of the big things that I've learned in this past year actually came from the YouTube comment section. Now, it's not always a great place. I had some random guy threaten another commenter in my Amico video one time, but this was different. It's something I really took to heart. In my Clerks 3 video, uh, someone said, Dude, good videos, but talk faster. I feel like you're on 75% speed. While another person said, Dude, I lasted 20 seconds. Can't handle when people don't talk properly. Which, y you know, I, I don't necessarily disagree. I'm not very comfortable with how I speak, so... I was doing my best to pronunciate, but in doing so, I overcompensated. I just need to try to do my best to be more myself and not overthink things, which I have a tendency to do. Now, in YouTube, there's a lot of pressure to try to be first when it comes to reviews. With Clerks 3, I had an opportunity to be one of the first to review the film. It had a limited run, I could watch it the first night, and I could conceivably get it out that very same night. Unfortunately, I didn't have my normal setup, 
and I was tired because I was on the road. I got it out there, but I didn't do a great job, and for that, I'm sorry. I know this probably sounds obvious, but I just need to just try to have fun and be myself. I think I really saw that in my reviews of Rings of Power. Now, I absolutely hated the show, but I had a lot of fun roasting it. I think I just need to try to put more of myself in everything that I do on YouTube. Even if I can't get a video up as quickly as the career, career YouTubers, I just need to make videos at my own pace. Sometimes I have made the mistake of just getting something out there when I'm not exactly proud of a video, but for whatever reason, YouTube decides to really push that video and it gets a lot of views from my channel. While on the flip side, sometimes I work really hard on a video and no one watches. Which reminds me of a parable of the Master Carpenter. So there's this Master Carpenter that's ready to retire. But his boss gets him to agree to build one more house. Now the carpenter does the job, but he's tired. Everything isn't as straight or as good as his normal work, but he gets it done. When the carpenter finishes the job, the boss gifts the carpenter the house. The idea being that you should always put your best in everything that you do. In the next year, a lot of stuff is going to happen. I'm getting married, and I'm going on my first international trip in over a decade. In the next year, I may not have a ton of free time, but I want to try to make sure that whatever I do produce is something that I'm proud of, and I'll try my best to just be myself. Thank you for watching me in 2022, and I hope that I can do an even better job in 2023. I'm just an old guy learning how to make things on the internet, but I really do appreciate you coming along on the ride with me. So if there's only one viewer, no viewers, or 20, I'll tr keep trying to do my best to improve. Thank you again, and I hope you have a wonderful day.